So we're asked to solve a pair of simultaneous equations. And before we get started, we need the coefficients of the x or the y to be the same. Now, we could times stop by 3 and the bottom by 2 to get the x to the same, but I'm going to pick the y's to get the same. So I'm going to times the top by 5 and the bottom by 3 to get the y's the same. It doesn't really matter. You get the same or you get the correct answer either way. So I'm going to times this by 5, so we end up with 10x plus 15y equals 60. And then we're going to times the bottom by 3, so 9x minus 15y equals minus 3. And then we're going to put our circles in to show that we're working downwards now. And this is the point at which we work downwards. But we need to remember the rule. If the coefficients are the same, we subtract. If they're different, we add. Simplest rule ever. So we've got 15y and we've got minus 15y, so they are different. So we're going to add. Okay, so 10x plus 9x is 19x. Uh, 15y plus minus 15y is nothing, which is good, so we need it to be nothing. And 60 plus minus 3 is going to be 57. And then we're going to put our lines going downwards. And we're going to divide both sides by 19 here. Now, if you're not quite sure about what 57 divided by 19 is, you can do a quick 19 times table. It's kind of like the 20 times table, but we're going to take away 1 initially and then take away 2. So 20 times table would be 40, so that would be 38. We're going to take away 3. 3 times 20 is 60. Take away 3 is 57. So x equals 3. Okay, so that's half of the question done, but we need to put that into one of the equations. I always pick the top one uh, to find out what y is. So we've got 2 times 3 plus 3y equals 12. Let's put our lines going downwards. So 6 plus 3y equals 12. Take away 6 both sides. 3y equals 6. Divide by 3 both sides. And we've got y equals 2. Now we can check that by putting it into the second equation. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9, take away 10 is going to be minus 1, so we know it's correct.